Hello, and welcome to the Anderson System. We have 17 authors and counting. Thank you very much for visiting our channel, and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you once again. Now let's get started. Hello, this is Adam from the Anderson System, and today I want to talk to you guys about the inner world. Now, the inner world could be different from system to system. Each system has an inner world that's a little bit different, that's a little bit um, their style and um, how they perceive things. There's no one correct way to have an inner world. And so in our inner world, we kind of have like a um, city. That's where I have this background right here. It's kind of like a city that we have in the inner world. It's kind of like that. And in our inner world, um, we have um, like kind of like hotel rooms or like an apartment building kind of thing. And that's where our altars, they stay like in this apartment building or just like in this hotel room. It looks like a hotel, like a, like a hotel motel because of the rooms. But it's but they have like their own separate rooms and their own separate areas where they can go and they can talk to each other and they can just relax. You know, and we also have one common area that the altars, they there to meet each other and able to talk to each other. And so why in the world um, uh, was built over the years? We didn't build the inner world um, overnight, but it took a while of finding what we like and what we dislike, because not everything in the world is something that I um, imagined up myself. Yes, I did have, I did play a part within that um, uh, construction of the inner world, but some of it was actually the authors themselves, them trying to um, create and, and build their own inner world too as well. And the inner world is very different um, even than the physical world, because even the physics are different than the inner world. Like, in the inner world, gravity is optional. Like you don't have to actually um, subscribe to the laws of physics and gravity. Like in the inner world, you can float in my inner world if you want. You can walk on water. Um, you can um, you can basically do things that you cannot do physically in this natural world. And the reason why I had that is because that's how my mind works. I kind of like the whole mystical fantasy superhero kind of thing. I always liked that when I was even a kid. And so my inner world tends not to be very um, I guess realistic like stuff you'll see in um in the modern world or, or today's world is more like kind of like a uh, I guess a sci-fi feeling to it because that's what I like totally is that kind of sci-fi feeling to it. Also, in the world we also have spaceships, which I love spaceships because I always love um what you call it um uh, Star Wars and Star Trek, and so I have spaceships in my inner world, which is really cool. Like the altars that can go and they can fly to different planets and in different places and in different cities and towns. And so um, that is something that I think I implemented, but they kind of improved on it. And so that that's really cool. And also in the world, we have dragons. Hell yeah, dragons. I freaking love dragons because dragons are so cool because who doesn't want a dragon? Who doesn't want a pet dragon or, or, or no? Uh, dragons are awesome. And so we have a dragon in the inner world where, um, where my altars go. And so it's pretty cool to have a dragon. And so we also have um, elves. Elves are cool. And so we also have some mystical things. I think because uh, we used to read books from Tolkien, like Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. And so it was really into my DNA to actually want that kind of stuff in the inner world. And so the inner world can be very um, cool. And it's also a place of relaxation because when I get stressed out in this world, I um, escape. It's like a form of escapism. And I escape into the inner world. And when you have DID, especially as a kid, um, yes, an altar will front to protect you from the abuse. That does happen. But where you go sometimes is you go into the inner world sometimes. And so it was basically my dream escape from the pain, from the neglect. And so it's a place I can go um, just to not think about what's going on in my physical life. And so that's why I have dragons and spaceships and all kinds of stuff is because it's the influences I had around me when I was a kid watching TV. And so anyway, that's a short um, thing about us in the inner world. And so um, if you are a DID system, um, you can give a little brief description if you want about your inner world and how you view it. And so anyway, remember to like and subscribe and thank you. Hello, this is Anderson System. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.